Okay, now let's move beyond revenue and think about some goals you might have for your business and for your life over this next year that have a little to nothing to do with money. So you were thinking about your vision for this year, right? And what that looked like and what do you want your life to look like by the end of the year? What goals do you have for yourself? What projects would you have to do to make that vision come true or make that vision come true? How much did your business make in the last 12 months? Or how far along are you in your business? Then you might think about what your multiple revenue goal for this year is and what other goals you have for this year too. Now, to reach those goals, what needs to be done? When will you start each of those projects? Okay, let's take a few minutes now to think about how to reach your goal for the year. You can write down some things. You don't need to be very clear about it yet. May it be a goal or a project? Well then, look at how to put things on the calendar. Okay, so just take a second here. Trying again, we're just trying to get something down on paper so that we can start. I'm going to talk about the next part of this process now. There are both revenue and non-revenue goals that you need to meet this year in order to achieve your vision for the year. You've thought about both. To finish this process that I helped you to get started on, figure out what projects you need to do to reach your goals. Then, look at each of those three phases and I told you about some specific goals and projects I think you should work on this year. I'm sure you have other things in mind as well. And, of course, you're the only one who can decide what you work on this year. But instead of just saying, I want to do this by this date or I'm going to work on this thing this month, you should break down your projects into specific steps. If you have a to-do list or a calendar, put those steps on those dates. I don't know if you keep a to-do list for each day or each week, but if you don't, I think it's a great idea. It doesn't matter if you use a project management software or write down a to-do list for each day. The less time you give yourself for that to-do list, the better. So instead of just having a to-do list for the month or for the year or for you, we make a to-do list just for today. Whether it's digital or paper, I think you'll find that more on top of things that you get more done and that you're less stressed. My best advice for being productive is to do this already. I'm sure many of you already do this. And then, identify potential pitfalls before they happen. Like, what challenges might arise while working to complete these projects? Or what else might throw you off course? Okay, so let's move on now and talk about problems. We have big goals for this year, but there are a lot of things that can stop us both inside and outside. Internally, they are too busy, stressed, not prioritizing their time well enough, and so on. We aren't like that. I hope you don't get into a car accident outside of school. All kind of things that might happen in your life. You may have to move for a reason. As well, you get to decide how you respond to them in your own life. It's the best way to avoid or successfully deal with these different problems and still reach your goals. Then, to think about those problems as best as you can before they happen. Then again, you can think of everything. But I'm also sure that the things that are more likely are the things that have happened to you many times before, right? So maybe you've tried to lose weight every year, but it hasn't worked. This is a good question, you know. What has gone wrong every year? It could also be the case that you know that you have a hard time managing your time. Well, how could you deal with that this year? Take a minute right now, and then I want you to write down at least three things that could stop you from meeting your goals this year. It doesn't have to be the biggest three things or the only three things, but just write them down. Think of three things that might keep you from reaching your goals. Let's say one of your project is to write a book. It could be that I don't set aside enough time to work on my manuscript or I might get too high in my head and think I'm having a writer's block, which is true. Then there could be another things could throw you off course, like 
things that aren't related to that project. It's possible that this year you're going on a few vacations, which would stop you from writing. Now, that's a tough thing to deal with. Are you going to write while you're away? Then, will you write while on vacation? But get right back into it when you get back? Stuffs like that. Things can make you go off track are two different types, and you should think about both of them. Okay, so let's move on now to talk about focus. So this is a little off topic from most of the other things we talked about, but it's still interesting. It's one of my secrets to getting things done and meeting my goals. I wanted to show it to you so because I want you to do that as well. A little side note. I think that focusing on a single thing can make things a lot clearer. Now it says on the slide, focus creates clarity. It simplifies decision making, makes prioritization easier, everything falls into place, it ensures the most important things accomplished. In this case, it might seem obvious that if you're focused on your goal, then you should be aware of what you want to achieve. Yes, that's also true. but. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about thinking about what your top priority is each day and for the year. This could be as simple as deciding how many hours you work each week. So instead of working when you feel like instead saying, every day at 7 a.m. I'm going to sit down at my desk or every day after lunch, I'm going to sit down at my desk, something like that. It could be that I'm going to work out every day. Now, of course, you'll be the best at that if you have a better idea of what you want to do. In this example, you say that you start exercising first thing in the morning or after lunch. Or when I'm done working, you say that you pick a specific marketing strategy for this year. Like when your business really took off. My business changed because I stopped trying to be everywhere and just focused on my YouTube channel for 3 months. I didn't do any other marketing for 3 months and that was the only thing that worked for my business. It wasn't because YouTube is so great, so I think it is, but that's not the reason my business was so different. It was because I focused on one thing and because of this, I made a lot of progress in one area. I also think that it could be one of your goals. This year, you might make one of your goals the most important thing to work on. Then, you work on it every single day. Among the things you can see here, there are a lot of different things like how many hours you work a day or how many money you want to make and a marketing plan. There are many more things we could talk about that could be your goal, your goal for the day, But if you make one thing your top priority each day, maybe it's something that has nothing to do with work. Like, every day I'll play a game with my child. Everything else will fall into place if you put one thing first. So, you have to be careful about what you make your top priority. But I find that it gives a lot of structure and a lot of clarity to your life. And so, I have a question for you. What will you choose to focus on this year? Right now, you might not know for sure, you might have an idea, you might know for sure, right? But if you want to do a little bit of work on this, to get started, I recommend you jot down 234 ideas for what your focus could be. You know, maybe you've been feeling like you're working all the time, and so your focus needs to be start working at a certain time and stop working at a certain time. Maybe you feel like you've been working a lot. And then, when you're not working, you're so tired from working that you're just sitting on the couch watching television. And so maybe your focus needs to be that every day after lunch, you go and you go for a 30 minutes walk and just to get yourself up and moving, just for examples. 